In a fast-paced world dominated by fear-inducing headlines and feelings of hopelessness created by a rapidly growing divide between subcultures of the human race, it is on us as individuals to shift our focus from the tired and mundane and start looking through a lens of hope and finding joy amidst the intricacies of the human condition. For me, this joy overflows in the form of verified Twitter accounts responding to tweets from our president, Donald J. Trump. I mean, there are just some sad, angry, verified users on Twitter. It's uh, it's truly tremendous. They're like a pride of lions circling around a wounded elk. Uh, and that wounded elk is a Donald J. Trump tweet. And the second a tweet goes up, they fucking they pounce. Attack that tweet. Now, I am by no means endorsing Donald Trump right now, but I just get a kick out of these people that cannot wait for a Donald Trump tweet to post so they can just fucking spill their guts in the responses. So as of last night, there was a lot of controversy surrounding a Kathy Griffin photo where she posted uh, a photo of herself holding a severed Donald Trump head. I'm sure you've all probably seen that by now. So Donald Trump tweeted this morning, Kathy Griffin should be ashamed of herself. My children, especially my 11-year-old son, Baron, are having a hard time with this. Sick, exclamation point. In response to that, Alex Albin says, Why did you show that to your son? What's wrong with you? Baron, my son who doesn't live with me and I never see. Look at this picture of my bloody, decapitated head. What do you think? Unless, of course, that's not what happened, and you're just using your son as an emotional leverage prop, which is gross in its own way. I'll tell you, these cats never miss an opportunity to take a shot at the dawn, uh, but there's always action on the other side of the fence as well. Well-known Republican YouTuber Mark Dice states, American liberals have openly embraced ISIS. Think about that for a moment. You should sue her for causing emotional distress to Barron. <sighs> so let me understand this. You want the President of the United States to sue a celebrity over a distasteful picture. Uh, maybe a stretch. Maybe, maybe a stretch. Maybe that's a little bit of a stretch. Maybe a, maybe a stretch. That's, may, maybe, maybe that's a little bit of a stretch. The fuck am I doing? Donald Trump tweets, the U.S. Senate should switch to 51 votes immediately and get health care and tax cuts approved. Fast and easy. Dems would do it, no doubt. Exclamation point. In response to that, my verified Twitter user friend Jules has a little bit of wisdom to drop on all of us. For Mayo, <laughs> you want to change the rules because nothing you're trying legislatively is working at all. I keep losing. This isn't fair. Change the rules to make it easier for me to win. Also, why are you blocking your critics on Twitter? At Mark Dice, I can see doing it. He's a pathetic, thin-skinned loser. Oh, wait. <sighs> it would be pretty funny if I got blocked for calling out Trump blocking his critics and simultaneously adding five mil followers in three days. Thinking emoji. Triggered! Alternatively, we have Mike Kafifi Tokes. Thank you, Mr. President, for all the hard work you do on behalf of the American people. American flag emoji times two. We need to continue to drain the swamp and combat the hateful leftist liberal agenda. DNC is extremely corrupt. The mainstream media will stop at nothing to discredit and assassinate your character over the next few years. We know that they are fake motherfucking news. <sighs> powerful, powerful stuff. Here's a Memorial Day tweet from Trump. Today we remember the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice in serving. Thank you, God bless your families, and God bless the USA. Totally straightforward tweet. Can't get mad at him, really, for, for saying this on Memorial Day, I, I don't think. But of course the top reply on Twitter is from a verified account turning it into a negative. You attacked a Gold Star family during the campaign and mocked John McCain's service. Mr. Khan was right. You have sacrificed nothing. Just let the president thank the troops and quit crying and making everything into a negative. I'm not crying or making anything negative. I stated irrefutable facts. Your facts are irrelevant to him thanking the troops on Memorial Day. Why are you so upset about facts? He's crying over facts. You don't even live in our country. Go worry about your own problems. <laughs> you like your own tweets. <laughs> That one stings a little bit because I like my own tweets sometimes. Not as much as I used to, but sometimes I still can't help myself. Oh, geez. So much anger. 
so much madness and just like what are these people trying to accomplish <laughs> i don't know it's every fucking tweet it's like they have to go on a tirade of responses to prove uh, who knows anyways hope it keeps up i get quite the kick out of it uh it's sad i, I say this it's it's sad our country is extremely divided in its uh it's just a strange time right now to be an American citizen. But what else can you do except try and find uh, find some happiness and some joy and some laughs in the little things? Listen, thank you guys for watching. As always, you are just massively appreciated. There's no fake gift card giveaway this video, unfortunately. But you should like and subscribe and put put, put the put, <laughs> turn the notification bell on, anyways. Uh, because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel nice. I hope you guys uh, are having a great fucking day. And we'll see you soon. Nigel, do you have any last any uh, last words? Get my Twitter account verified, you fat pussy. Always a cunt. Fuck it. Unbelievable. All right, I will, I will see you guys very soon. So this whole uploading more than once a month thing is fucking... Okay. Oh. Bing.